So we're just going to get right into the video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I trim my hair. Well, I do a light dusting. I don't like to cut too much off of my hair. So as you can see here, I'm literally just cutting off just the very tips. And I'm not even going that much into my hair. Like, I cut just literally the tips off. And that's what I mean by when I dust my hair. And before I do this, I definitely make sure that it's even on both sides. Just in case I do need to cut the other side to make it more even. So definitely just point check. And I usually cut like palm to palm but sometimes it's harder to do that on yourself so i'm just going to just pull my hair out where i can see it and just cut off literally like just the tips and in the parts that are shorter because my hair is shorter in the middle i tend to do that on its own so right now i'm just going to part my hair just both sides and I work with the barriers in my head. So I go from the back to the sides. I definitely make sure that both sides are even before I trim them. As I'm doing right here. Just to make sure, just in case I need to cut the other side. And I like to spray my hair. I know a lot of curly girls do their hair dry. I like to spray my hair because I don't like for it to be like so dry where it could break. So I definitely just missed it, but I do like for it to not be soaking wet so that I'm able to see like the shape of it. I'm going to section off each piece because you see like on the top of my hair it's a lot shorter. I'm just going to like not do that piece yet and just go with the longer pieces of my hair. And I just look at the ends. If it doesn't look frayed and doesn't look like split, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to just trim just a little bit of it because I do want to keep my length. You see, I like took off like the top piece because it was like so much shorter. I'm just going to trim that off. And take another section of my hair. Make sure that everything is even and cut it. And you see, like, I just take certain areas because that top piece was way too short. And I'm just going to make it like a 90 degree angle off my head, just straight up off of my head and cut it that way. And this gives me really nice volume with my curls. So that's why I like to do this type of cut. And I just repeat on the other side. I'm definitely going to take some sections, section it off. Because my hair is just like different lengths in different places. So I don't want it to be cut too short. Now it's not absolutely necessary to cut your hair every six months. Even though by most people it is required. I'd say go based off how your hair looks. If it looks like you need to trim, then absolutely trim it. But if your ends are not split, then I say kind of just go based off of that. Please make sure when you are cutting your hair, you're using a very sharp scissor. Don't use a blunt scissor. You're going to like make, what's it called, like free ends. And then they can split easier that way too. So make sure that scissor you are, you are using is really, really good. Like very sharp. Preferably a hair scissor, not like a scissor you use in the house. And I recommend cutting into the hair. In this section of my hair. I work from the back to the front. And this type of cut that I do is that I am pulling the hair off the head at an angle. I believe that's like a 45 degree angle. I believe it is. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut off the ends. Mm. Like I said before, I like the way that it makes my curls look. It looks really good when it's styled. I'm going to repeat on the other side. I believe this cut could work on a lot of curly girls. I don't think just with my hair type. So 
don't be afraid to try and definitely work in sections don't just work in one big section even this section i believe i took it apart yep work in many sections Honestly, it's not going to look that bad when it's even straight. I'm sure it's going to look nicely with, like, your curls, with your, your layers. It's going to create, like, a nice layer look, so don't be afraid. I'm gonna work in the front now. Finally, this haircut took me around seven to eight minutes to do, so it was really fast. Definitely make sure that the front is even, and then just work on each side. And I'm sure I sectioned these sections off too. Yep. And the front of my hair is very different to the back, so I definitely have to work in sections. Especially like in the beginning, like in the, the, what's it called? My hairline is a lot shorter than obviously the rest of my hair. I'm literally just cutting the tip off. <laughs> Not playing and, you know, to the back. And just assess your own hair. If your hair needs more cutting, then definitely take off those ends. This is just suggestive. This is just based on my hair type. And also, I already transitioned. I'm going to be doing a video of me showing you guys how I transitioned and over the year. But, yeah, this is more for my hair. You have to just really assess your hair before you cut it. If you need more, take it off. If you need less, like me, then, you know, you can kind of go based off what I'm doing. Now, everybody's hair is different, so I don't want you to think just because you're cutting your hair like mine, you're going to get the same exact results. You may not. You just have to assess your hair the way that, you know, your hair is. But the more that you trim it, if you are transitioning, you're going to get really good results. You just have to be patient with your hair. I recommend if you need to pick chop, you definitely pick chop. You'll get the best results and it's going to look so good. Yeah, take like the under part. You see like around my hairline, it's a lot shorter. I don't really mind cutting that part of my hair because it really needs like a lot of TLC because I put more heat in like the beginning of my hair than I do everywhere else. And that's because I used to straighten my bangs a lot. And another thing, I did not create a baseline for my entire haircut. I literally just cut where I felt like my hair needed it. And I could kind of base my hair off, you know, length because it's my head. So I know I can just see it that way. Anyways, I hope that made sense to you. I hope you guys like my haircut. You can see it's just like very elevated and fluffy. It gives my hair like a bigger look and that's just the look I was going for. The next video coming up will be a video of how I style my hair. All right, bye.